Bird Gang family, we back again with another video. <clears throat> okay. I know I'm filming this video. I don't got no nothing on, y'all. Nothing. I don't got no eyes on. Nothing. But anyway, this video, I'm going to tell y'all about mental health. How to deal with mental health or whatever. <clears throat> First thing, for those of y'all who be stressing, and thinking that it's no more tomorrow. You feel sad all the time, depressed. You feel you feel worthless. You feel like no one understands you. None of that. I'm letting you know I'm here. I'm one of them persons that deal with mental illness. I'm a... I take medication for my illness or whatever i'm trying to get off of it because it's not healthy for your body anyway but anyway um i've been diagnosed i've been diagnosed with depression bipolar anxiety um some other stuff or whatever but anyway all that stuff i've been diagnosed with and how I deal with it is, I try to tell my husband to give me a hug sometimes. He'd be like, wow, he already know what's going on. And he helped me a lot. he just be basically telling me to not worry about the past and just to keep forward, keep going forward and stuff in life. And basically, what y'all need to start doing is putting your phone down. When you got your phone in your hand and you feel so depressed, one of the reasons why you depressed is because of the phone. You seeing all these other people all googly-eyed and happy. They be acting like they shit don't stink. But let me tell you something. Everybody shit stink. Everybody going through something. Everybody got problems. Don't be thinking nobody out there perfect. Nobody perfect, okay? Nobody perfect. And I hate the people that be thinking they shit don't stink. Like, sit down. Your shit do stink. Motherfucking ass bitch. But anyway, um... Yeah, sometimes you got to compose yourself. Sometimes you got to go in your quiet place. Go into a room by yourself or go into some place that you feel comfortable at alone and have like five or ten minutes and just do this. It helps because I do this a lot. I do this a lot. I could be angry over anything. I put my husband through so much and I'm I'm grateful that he's still with me to this day because he's been dealing with all my situations. He's a great husband. I love him. And, um, like, you know, just do breathe in and out. Have your song come on. Listen to some happy music. Be like, oh, shit. Yeah. You know, have your favorite groove on. Keep the negative people away from you. If you have to cut off some people just to be happy, cut it off. If that person never wants you to be happy, don't even worry about talking to them. And if you're in a relationship and you feel like that person broke up with you or if they did, don't feel like the world ending. It's okay. It's okay. Take a step back, do what I said. <sighs> Breathe in and out. It helps. Trust me, it helps. I do it all the time. And do like some little exercises. Do some jumping jacks. Do some jumping jacks and just stretch. You know, anything. Like you just do this. You could just stretch. And talk to yourself. Talking to yourself is okay. Say, self, I am somebody. I am worth it. I am grateful. God brought you on this earth for a reason. He brought us on this earth for a reason. I know y'all hate watching serious videos, but this is a serious video. And when my depression come on, I have to either tell my husband to give me a hug or cry a little bit. And when I cry, it do helps. I, sometimes I don't even know what I'm mad for. But lately... I'm in a good place. I'm in a good place now. My mindset is in a good place. I just want to 
help others if y'all still going through difficult times and y'all still feel sad having suicidal thoughts don't don't make sure you feel like a king or a queen make yourself be happy stop listening to this down music that make you sad all the time don't listen to music that make you sad and don't listen to music when they talk about going to kill somebody and blowing up people houses and stuff don't do that because that would do nothing but bring negative vibes to you nothing but negative vibes do not do it stay happy surround yourself around happy people and if someone around you and asking you why you always depressed explain yourself you could pull out a camera and start filming yourself let the world know why you've been depressed lately it might be help out there for you you never know it's someone out there that's watching that needs you to open up your story so that way it can help somebody else you never know what people are going through you think you're going through something it's people in the hospital beds right now not stressed not nothing happy wishing they can get up and get out you thinking you stressing over bullshit don't be stressing over bullshit try not to stress over bullshit if you stressing over real problems then i understand that because everybody go through real problems and everybody stress. But what you got to do is not let yourself stress. You got to just worry about yourself and not stress. You got to stop looking at the phone. Stop looking at the phone. Put your phone down for an hour. Put your phone down for an hour. An hour or two. And relax with your family or your man or your woman. I'm telling you, it works. It works, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, it works. Because I remember one time in my life where I was just so depressed and the phone didn't help. And my husband just said, why don't you just put down the phone and go relax in the room, listen to happy music and stuff. And I did. I did exactly what he told me to. And little do you know it, my stress levels start going down and I start feeling a whole much better. A whole much whole much better that don't mean to make sense a whole lot better i just say that i start feeling a whole lot better i was like man i'm gonna have to do this more often because the person that you with don't let them don't let them um feel like that well i just say sometimes i be feeling like dang i'll be telling my husband do you think you deserve better because i be so stressed and hurt and he was like no oh i hate when i start crying Mm, he'd be like, no, and he hate when I cry. He hate it. So I try not to cry a lot. He'd be like, no, I love you and stuff. And he'd been going through it with me this whole time. If they got awards out there for husbands of the year, it'll be my husband. Year around, hands down, it'll be my husband. He'd been with me from day one, rocking with me and everything. With all my stress, I'll take it out on him for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know why I bring the stress out on him all the time. I don't know why. But I did I did do it. But now I don't do that anymore. I don't stress him. You know, I try not to put the stress on him and stuff. I just try to go in my happy place and just calm down or just tell him what I'm thinking. I hate when I fucking act like a bitch. I'm fucking crying. Crying is okay, y'all. It's okay. But anyway, I just... I used to feel like maybe if you were someone else, you wouldn't have to go through this stuff. And he was like, I don't want to be with nobody but you. And I'm like, cool, cool. That makes me feel happy. Because I'd be depressed as fuck if my man leave me. I'd be so depressed. Because I love him and I can't live without him. But anyway. So, that's what I'm telling y'all, basically, to find your happy self. Love yourself. Don't worry about other people. Worry about yourself first. If you worry about yourself first and love yourself first, you'll go a long way in life itself. Never pay attention to everybody posts when they be posting some on Facebook, Instagram, uh, Snapchat. Don't worry about it. Worry about yourself. Let them see you shine. You post something one day. Let them see you shine. Don't keep on kissing nobody's ass. It's 2020. It's no ass kissing. Don't kiss nobody ass. 
If they don't support you or support what you do, cut them off. And I promise you, when you get your paper up, they're going to come running behind you like some hoes. Don't even worry about it. Don't argue with them, no nothing. Just let it go. Let it be. That's how I deal with it. That's how I deal with my mental health. I don't go to therapy. I don't go to therapy. They don't, are not going to help you. All they do is just listen to your story and let they ask go home and tell they, your story to Tom, Dick, and Harry. And that they go all laughing, drinking, and laughing about your story. What you need to do is tell your own story. Be your own therapy. Be your own activist. Be your own boss. Be yourself. Don't worry about these people. Don't run after nobody. It takes two to tango. It takes two. Don't beg nobody for nothing. Get on your grind. Worry about yourself. Don't worry about nobody else. Because I promise you they don't care. All they care about is they funky self. All they care about is they funky self. That's it. Thank God my husband got my back and he my backbone. He the number one top person in this world besides God that ride with me from day one. He ride with me from day one. Never judge me. Never put me down. Be around people that do not put you down. Don't listen to people when they say, oh, you ugly, you this, you dad, you this and that. You need to, <clears throat> you need to, uh, um, whatever they be doing, like, for, for example, they be, like, uh, they be telling a heavy person, oh, you need to lose weight, or you too skinny, or you too this. Don't listen to them. Don't listen to them. Don't worry about them. Don't worry about them. Worry about yourself. I promise you, if you put that phone down for five seconds and just clear your mind and exhale and inhale, like I just showed you at the beginning of the video, I promise you, you'll feel much better. Put on some happy music. Put on some church or something. I don't care if you don't like it. Try it. Don't like it if you never tried it. I mean, don't down it if you never tried it. You got to try things in your life. Stop always listening to these stupid ass rappers that be talking about Nothing. All they talk about is guns, money, shaking ass, and all that shit, and twerking, all that other shit. Stop listening to them motherfuckers. Stop listening to them. Start listening to happy shit. Put on some country or something. Or some Zodico that'll get you moving or something. This world is changing, y'all. This world is changing. This world is flying by. And while it's flying by, you still sad, you still depressed. Get up, look yourself in the mirror, and say you ill somebody. Say you is somebody. Say I am somebody. I am somebody. I am worth it. I am going to get that job tomorrow. I don't want to take no from no answer. I am going to get up, take a shower, wash dishes, do what I got to do and worry about myself. Worry about your damn self. Stop worrying about fucking the next motherfucker. Worrying about, oh, I need to copy them. I need to do what they doing. I need to be in all these groups and all that other bullshit. Fuck that shit. You don't gotta listen to these motherfuckers. Cause all of them is, some of them ain't worth shit any motherfucking way. They only want you to be on they back, support them. It take two motherfuckers, you gotta support each other. And if they not supporting you, cut their motherfucking ass off like a fucking shoestring. Cut them off. Cut them off. And I promise you, I promise you, you're gonna feel much better. I promise you, you're gonna feel much better. Fuck all them motherfuckers that say you ain't worth it, you ain't gonna be nobody. Fuck all of them. And if your family telling you that too, fuck them too. Fuck it. It's 2020. You gotta worry about yourself, live your life. So that way you can be happy. That way you can be happy. And try not to get close to these motherfuckers. They say they your friend, they say they this. Man, that's just bullshit. That's just bullshit. Motherfuckers lying to your ass. They ain't loyal and none of that shit. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm sniffing because, you know, I was tearing up. But anyway, fuck the haters, man. It's 2020. Let's start a new trend of happy people. Because I promise you, if you're not happy and you keep stressing, you're going to kill yourself. Because the number one kill is stress by itself. Stress kills. And you don't want stress to kill you, right? You want to live, you want to be able to have kids and all that stuff, and a family, or if you already have a family, you don't want your kids sad, crying, wondering why you hurt and sad. You don't want that. 
So you got to learn how to respect yourself. I don't want to hear people not respecting you. Respect yourself first. Love yourself first. Love God. Start opening up the Bible and reading it. Then I promise you, your life will be 100% better. Worry about your own life. Yeah, I just have to open up and let y'all know how I deal with my mental health and stuff. It's an everyday struggle. It ain't like it's like this. But every time I wake up in the morning, I thank the Lord and say, thank you for waking me up this morning for me and my husband. You know? And I don't think about the negative. And when I pick up that phone, I don't worry about the motherfucking haters. I don't do it. Because I'm not going to be stressed out for no motherfucking body. So, you should do what I tell you to do. If you don't listen to nobody, please listen to me. Because trust me, it works. It works. Start getting your own shit. Don't be boring people shit. Get your own shit. I just had to come on here and tell y'all how I deal with it and how I deal with my stress, how I deal with bullshit ass people, all that shit. I don't argue with people no more. For what? You know what my husband told me when he saw me arguing with somebody on the phone? He looked at me and said, why are you arguing with a phone? And I'm like, you know what? You're right. I just blocked their ass. Block their ass. Leave them alone. Don't talk to them no more. Because if they negative, if you disrespect me, it's fine. But if you disrespect my man, then we got a fucking problem. Like, don't disrespect him. He never done that to nobody. Shit. Nobody. He don't even talk to nobody on that. I'm the one be all on them social medias and shit. Only me. Supporting us and motivating us and um showing our pictures. Some of y'all think my man be on there? Hell no, he don't be on there. I know a lot of people when they see it say king and queen, they be like, oh, subdued and all that stuff. Nah, it be a bitch texting you, not a nigga. Shit. It's just king and queen because my man come first. And it's both our shit. But he come first. So it's king first, then queen. Which is me. So y'all, learn how to respect yourself. Love yourself. Don't put yourself down. Because if you do, other people will. Trust me, they will. And don't listen to them. Because all they doing, half of them don't do shit. Half of them sit on their mama couch, pissing, eating shit. And um, fucking eat all the food, don't shit. Some of them don't even got their own shit. Some of them don't got their own shit. So while they talking about you, take a step back look at their life. Bet you they ain't even doing shit. But yeah, this is another video from Burn Gang. This is how I deal with my mental illness. Yeah, Burn Gang. Burn Gang family, we out.